Now, several Conservative candidates have signed what's been called a Hindu manifesto that campaigns for looser immigration rules for elderly Hindus and religious workers. Tory candidates Bob Blackman, Theresa Villiers, Laura Farris and Amit Jogia have all supported the manifesto, which was launched earlier this month. It's a staggering story, and I'm joined now by the man who broke it. It's GB News reporter Charlie Peters. Charlie, thanks for joining us. Ha what on earth is a Hindu manifesto mm. and why are these Conservative candidates backing it? So the Hindu manifesto was launched earlier this month by a group primarily called Hindus for Democracy. We understand that several other organisations linked to British Hindus were involved in producing this manifesto. It's over 30 pages long and it calls for several policies for the next administration and for the next round of MPs to campaign for, including more money for Hindu temples, more money for faith schools, state-funded faith schools. They also want so-called community consultation whenever the government uh, legislates on issues as they pertain to British Hindus. And there's also a section on so-called microaggressions. They say that there needs to be a new law to deal with what they call Hindu phobia or anti-Hindu hate. And they list a, a, a collection of ideas where this could come into play. A lot of them are on some contested political issues. But all in all, it's quite a factional, as you can imagine, and quite driven sectional proposal for the Hindu community. And the National Secular Society told me that these sorts of sectional and sectarian political ambitions should not be recognised by politicians. But what's really controversial and what I've drawn out from this report is that several Conservative candidates have signed up to a, a section in this manifesto, which is all-encompassing, on immigration. Now, a big part of the Conservative message during this general election campaign has been about reducing mm. our visa rules on dependents. Now, um, the Home Secretary, James Cleverly, said that he's reduced numbers by 300,000 on dependents. The manifesto says, the Tory manifesto says that they will reduce uh, immigration in, if they form the next administration. But this Hindu manifesto that at least four Conservative candidates have signed calls on the government to bring in looser immigration rules for elderly Hindus. And they also asked the government to expand the religious worker visa. So for Hindu priests, at the moment, it's a two year visa that can't be extended. The Hindu manifesto signed by those conservative candidates says that should be raised to three years and to be extended up to five if necessary. So when I uh, have, have raised this, obviously, this is a, a, a contrast between the official Conservative manifesto and what's available inside this particular, what many are calling sectarian campaign for specific Hindu immigration rules. It begs several questions. First of all, why on earth are we bowing to any mm. community need? We're surely all equal in British society. And secondly, is this just a, a blatant plea for votes? Mm. And secondly, thirdly, how on earth can candidates, Conservative Party members, be seemingly swimming against the tide of government mm. policy to tighten mm. grips on immigration, Charlie Peters? Well, perhaps they just didn't expect anyone would actually read the manifesto, but we have and we've uncovered those policy gaps. Maybe they didn't read it themselves. When I've reached out to these candidates, they didn't give a response. But why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? Why are they getting involved in this campaign? Well, we've seen quite a lot of concerning sectarian campaigns during this election campaign. Let's not forget the Muslim Vote Organization, which is organizing for votes around issues related to Gaza. We've also seen another Conservative candidate in trouble earlier this week after they wrote a letter to their constituents addressed to British Pakistanis and Kashmiris saying who will speak for Kashmir in Parliament. When I, rose, when I raised this issue with some other Tory campaigners, they said to me, we will speak for Britain in Parliament. Charlie Peters, another stonking exclusive. Great work. Now we have a right to reply here. A spokesman for the Conservative Party said this, our Hindu community exemplifies the best of British values, like family, responsibility, enterprise and generosity. We have some of the strongest legislation in the world, when it, um, which aims to protect Hindus from both racially and religiously motivated crime. In government, the Conservatives have worked with police and community partners to monitor and combat hatred towards Hindus. And in 2023-24, we provided £3.5 million for protecting places of worship, including for Hindu temples. We remain committed 
to defending freedom of religion or belief for all and promoting respect and tolerance.